you guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to Busy Being Jen. I'm here today to tell you about a new series that I'm starting on my channel called Pins in Action. And I hope you'll follow along and be sure to subscribe. So Pins in Action, you probably can guess what this is. Um, this has to do with Pinterest and actually taking action on some of those things that we pin to our Pinterest boards. Now, I use my boards maybe a little differently than a lot of people do. I will have, and, and this isn't for all of, all of um, the things that I pin, but in certain topics, like especially with recipes, I will put, um, I have a board that says appetizer recipes to try soup recipes to try, pasta recipes to try. So when I'm pinning, I pin them and put them in that board. When I actually do make the recipe, if I don't like it, I just get rid of it, I delete it. And then if I, if I make it and it is good, then I move it to another um, board that I have that will say like yummy appetizers, yummy pasta recipes, yummy soup recipes. And so I move it and then when I'm thinking about what kind of recipes I want to make, um, I will often just go to those tried and true recipes. So I will sometimes move things around on my Pinterest page, but really how I like to try to use Pinterest is not just you know, clicking and saving every cute thing, but stuff that I think I actually would like to do or try. One thing that I thought I would do this year is once a month do at least one thing that I have pinned to um, Pinterest. And so it could be a craft, it could be a recipe, it could be um, a, an essential oils diffuser blend, um, it could be a way of organizing or decorating or whatever, but what I really want to do is kind of go back through and re-look at some of the stuff I've pinned. Now, I actually was looking through some of my boards the other day and I thought, I that doesn't sound good to me at all. Like, why did I pin that? And so I'm also kind of doing a little bit of a purge on my Pinterest um, stuff just to get rid of things that maybe I pinned on a whim and really I'm never gonna use. So, so let me tell you about January. So in the month of January, I actually did a few things and I'll pop in pictures for you here. Um, one of the things that I'm kind of getting into is making some things with polymer clay. Um, my mom got me a bunch of polymer clay stuff, tools and, and all kinds of things for Christmas. And so I found some really cool things. So I'm gonna pop in a picture here of some little polymer clay succulents that I made and I found those online and had pinned them to a board and uh, that turned out really nice. And I have several things that I've pinned when I got that stuff for Christmas. I started investigating um, the kinds of things that I can do with polymer clay. And I will probably do more of those things that I've pinned in the coming year. But yeah, that was one of the things I did this month. And then I also did some, some recipes that I had pinned. One was a pull apart pizza. But there's some alliteration for you. But that was delicious. And so glad that I went through and found, you know, found that in, in my, um, I, I can't remember, it was something, something to, to try, one of those boards that I have. Uh, and I definitely moved it into a, a yummy folder. Was it just yummy dinner recipes? I don't remember. But um, yeah, so those are two things that I have already tried in January. And so next month in February, I'm not sure exactly what it is I'm going to do, but I'm just going to go through my different um, boards and start looking for stuff. And I will try at least one thing that I have pinned in January or in February. And I hope that you guys will try it too. You know, I think Pinterest is such a, it's such a great um, tool for replacing the old clipping stuff out of magazines and stuff like that. It's just a great tool, I think, for, for hanging on to your stuff um, and remembering where they are. But then we kind of do it and just get hundreds and thousands of pins and then we, we just don't ever try them. So. so if you're planning to um, to do this with me this year, leave a comment in the space below. Or if you've done something recently that you'd pinned 
and um, had kind of, you know, forgotten about or whatever, and it turned out really great. I'd love to hear about that. I Thank you so much for watching Busy Being Jen, and if you're not a current subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos. So I hope I'll see you again. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.